Alright, this video took me a while to get onto, but I found it was pretty important for me to make. This is a complete breakdown of how Stronghold Conquest or Guild vs Guild Wars work in once human. Now these are limited to PvP servers, and they're kinda like hard to get into as well in the current system, which I hope they change. This is gonna cover everything from a full gameplay at the end, to breaking down defense base building tips and tricks, and at the start here we're gonna first explain what actually is a conquest war. Now around the map you will see, depending on your server's phase, either white circles with a mining icon, red circles with a mining icon, or if you're already familiar with the system, a green icon and you probably own a territory. Now again, depending on your phase, you will only have a limited amount unlocked at one time. If you're at phase four, you pretty much have all of the frontiers unlocked and available. What does a frontier actually do? How do you participate in owning a frontier and what happens at a frontier? So to start off with the basic rundown is a frontier is a PVP zone. You walk into this place in a PVP server, you'll be auto flagged for a guild versus guild combat. When you die in guild versus guild combat, you will not drop gear. You will just lose dur gear durability and drop maybe some bullets and wood logs or whatever you have on you resource related. And the next thing is they're also used as the frontier for the conquest stronghold, which is the primary focus of this video. Or the, the stronghold conquest is the war system in this game. If you're familiar with New World, you might be a little bit familiar with this kind of a guild versus guild system. So in this game, you have war bands. And in war bands, you can have upwards of 30 to 50 players, depending on your server's phase. I believe up until phase 3 it's only 30 players, beyond phase 3, phase 4, 5 and 6 it's 50 players, and in this system you have something called a warband fund. This is the main thing we use to declare on a frontier and try and take control of one for ourselves. Now the first thing I want to mention is what is the reward you get out of actually controlling and owning these frontiers as a guild. Season rewards down the bottom here you go to your ranking tab you hit season rewards depending on your ranking you will get bonus star crumb at the end of the phase. So at the end of phase 4 and when we go to phase 5 we will all get a bonus star crumb crate and again depending on your placement the more you get if you're rank 1 7k 6.5k and again, this is phase dependent. Last phase, it was only 45, oh sorry, 5k for first place. And in phase four, it bumps up. And I believe in phase five, it bumps up even more. So there's quite a lot of Starcrom on the line. And this is quite a important system to the PVP servers that not a lot of people know about or don't fully understand, but they do know about. So the first thing I want to jump into is how do you declare on a frontier, whether that is an unoccupied frontier, such as this white one, or it is a red frontier that is occupied by another guild or warband as they're called in this game. So first off, as you can see when I click on it, there is a place bid button. When we hit place bid, sorry, we can enter an amount that we want to bid on this territory. And when that bidding time is up, the highest bidder will get that declare and will get the chance to participate in an instanced 12v12 guild versus guild war to take control of the frontier. It is an attacker defender style game mode where the defenders have to build a base and protect something called a Stardust Restrainer, I think, or a Stardust Resonator, I can't remember the exact name of it. But basically you have to defend, it's very, very much like Rust actually, it's a sort of a phased instanced 12v12 rust style raid defenders defend their base that they've made attackers have to destroy it to win the frontier each frontier is worth a certain amount of points for the leaderboard as well which i'll quickly mention so each frontier has a certain amount of points dedicated to it the higher zones in the map across the top give the most points at 9600 to 8000 the bottom of the map you will start to see zones have less points such as 3200 here at the southern frontier and again depending on how many zones you own at the end of the phase will you'll be given your placement rewards so currently my warband is ranked two so again how do we get into the war so once we've placed a bid let's say we place a bid with our warband funds if you don't know what warband funds are in your warband tab with your guild you can donate to the warband fund i highly recommend only using damaged data discs these give the most warband funds to your guild. In return, you get a currency that you can use in a faction shop. There isn't too much in here. You can get three controllers per week, assorted canned fruit, canned lunch meat, which is quite nice. Uh, with Stardust, you can even buy like acid and rubber. 
I don't know why you would want to do that. I highly recommend just getting the consumables and the controllers. That's what I do anyways. But again, adding to that, you get Warband funds. With the Warband funds, you will use that to declare on a zone. You win that declare on a zone and you get to have a war. So after the bidding phase, it will then say war or stronghold conquest in and then you will basically have the war now how the war starts is one minute or one minute before sorry one minute before the war starts or one minute before the time attacks you will have a teleport button it's grayed out right now but let's say i am the defender in this case we own the zone one minute before the war i can teleport to the zone and prep for the war now there's one more thing to note and i actually almost left it out if you're the defenders you have a 15 minute grace period before the war timer where enemies cannot enter this frontier at all and you have time to set up a base now i don't recommend just setting up your base in that 15 minutes it's quite a short period of time i recommend heading out at least half an hour before your conquest stronghold or stronghold conquest to build your base and again you're building your base outside of the instance in the open world frontier so in the open world frontier anyone can come in and start destroying your base you're building so this is an event that your guild will need to show up for and protect your builders your builders will be building the base again roughly half an hour before the conquest begins and then you will have a decent base to go into the war with that's when the 12v12 happens and uh yeah 12v12 attackers defenders they destroy your terminal as i'm going to call it just because i'm used to rust terminology here and they will win the war now again winning that war you will get the points and you will be put on the scoreboard and again it's a snapshot at the end of the phase i would prefer it would prefer it to be accumulative based on wins and defenses but you know there is still a lot of unfleshed out systems in this game but for now this is how it works it is a snapshot at the end of the phase based on how many territories you own as a warband there's also one benefit that you get being a owner of a zone so if you're familiar with the gvg zones you can find pvp in here currently there is no proper incentive to go to these zones so developers if you see this add an incentive for people to go to these zones these mining platforms or engagement zones currently do not yield any or enough beneficial resources for people to actually harvest them so what i recommend doing is buffing the incentives so people actually go to these currently on my server we've set dry valley as the sort of zone or designated pvp area if you want a pvp on a server you go here people will type in chat there's dry valley pvp you show up again but being the defender or controller of a frontier you get the benefit of teleporting to the pvp or gvg zones right from anywhere in the world this is the benefit that defenders get alongside their points on the warband warboard so we can teleport straight to the frontier this is where we would build our base right here and this is the restrainer i was talking about that we have to defend and again in the next segment you will see a sort of breakdown of how the wars work in this game and tips and tricks i would recommend using to build your base but basically the attackers will spawn over at this rosetta compound just to the south you can find this on icon on any of the frontiers it will say attack that is where the attackers spawn there'll be a slightly smaller rosetta camp in the frontier that is where the defenders will spawn this prevents spawn trapping it makes sense to be honest but the defenders will spawn here and the attackers will spawn over there so i hope that sort of makes sense and then again you would build your base so i could grab like i don't know a foundation and i could build it i could start building a base i could place the restrainer on top and i could conceal it build walls around it you have a building limit of 640 structures 60 facilities 12 generators 12 defensive utility placements in your i guess frontier um and i'm gonna go into a bit more detail on this in the building tips and tricks section uh, but you can basically have creative freedom in this frontier. You actually, believe it or not, can build anywhere in the frontier. This is one of the benefits of being a owner of a frontier as well. You can build absolutely anywhere. And I mean anywhere. If I want to build all the way at their spawn before the war and build a big massive wall, is an actual strategy you can do. So you can get very, very creative with this, which is one of the cool things that I love about the system. Again, it's quite... Um, early in development there's probably still a lot of work that needs done to the system but it has a lot of potential and it's got some really good bones so again they just need to add the meat 
developers if you're watching please add some proper incentives and flesh out the experience a little bit more but it's very close to being a very good guild versus guild system where you can test your metal and skills against other warbands in the game for a chance at bonus star chrome at the end of the phase so again i hope that sort of explains warband conquest strong or warband stronghold conquest in a brief summary and that is how you get into them and how you play them I hope that made sense. Without further ado, I'm going to send you to the tips and tricks section of the video where I give some advice to defenders specifically. Actually, I'll show you my... Oh, I think I destroyed my base. There is a way to counter it, um, like rocket spam and shit. It's very specific and it relies on having a good frontier as well. And it's, it's very sneaky and you have to kind of outwit your opponent. It's very uh, situational and based on the frontier you're in. And your strategy has to be different every time, otherwise it's going to be very readable. I'll show you in a sec, because I'm kind of bored of running this fucking solo. There's... Okay, so you're about to see something pretty wicked when I head over to uh, one of the zones we own. It's pretty fucking funny. Alright, so... The first strategy, right? The first part of the strategy... Is just having shitloads of foundations for run and gun cover. This is very important. Especially against bingo. Fuck that shit. But as you can see... <clears throat> You can build anywhere in the zone, you know? So, uh... We kind of, like, build a trump wall around their spawn. And it, it makes them, uh... <laughs> and it worked really well. So, it forces them to either go on the low ground down here... Or they have to break through. They can break through and waste explosives if they want. You can't double jump this, even with a car, on their side. Even with double jump, you can't get over that. They have to destroy at least one wall, but they filter up here in the open, and we can just pop them all. They run up here, and they're like, oh, they're all in the open to us now, GG. And if they go down the left, they're now on the low ground as well. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like from the inside, because it's pretty fucking funny. Can't use a truck. You can't bring trucks into Conquest Walls. And then, so... <laughs> uh, this is what it looks like to them, right? So, I don't think I have any double jump shit on me. No, I don't. I don't think. No. But you can't even double jump this. You can't even double jump it. They could probably go on the, the roleplay tower and jump, like, fly in. That might work, probably. But still, that's a hassle. When you've got 25 minutes... And they can't really be fucking around. I'm not going to try and do this shit. Actually, I don't think you can. Wait. You can't get out of these windows, can you? Nope, they can't do that. GG. They might be able to go like this, maybe? No, with spring legs? No. They have to destroy one of the walls. This height, this max gain foundation with double jump, you can't get that. You can jump from the stairs. From the stairs yeah they could probably do this like there, there is a probably a couple spots they could get over right but it's a hassle it's fucking annoying right it's gonna waste their time they have to probably go one of the other ways it's fucking hilarious or they have to waste explosives which is kind of what we want and then they just see a mountain of fucking this is the best bit right we have so much over the shoulder third person peak cover we're just like Hold per third person peeking them, holding them. They don't know where the fuck to look. There's like 50,000 foundations that we could be behind. Creates the best run and gun cover as well. But the most important thing is that to stop rocket spam off spawn, you need to build your foundation behind natural land. So we put our foundation behind this cliff here, and they actually can't destroy it with rockets off spawn. Which is the most important part. Using the natural land of the frontier. Obviously I destroyed my base because I want to save the materials. Yeah, you can use it both ways, but it comes down to the better aimer. It comes down to the better aimer. They can't spam rockets. As well. They can't spam rockets or anything. They can't bingo and shit. That's the most important thing is blocking those hard skipping rats like me. But, okay, so I don't have any mats on me to really give an example, but... Uh, I do have all my mats in my trunk, actually. But basically, you want to basically... Again, like, they can't line a sight rocket this now. It's like, they have to come up close. 
And what my usual strat is, I can actually go to Eternal Land for this. Actually, I might have destroyed it. Hang on. Fuck. I built kind of like a mock base of what I would do. I don't know if I destroyed it or not. But generally, I do a 3x3 three three double honeycomb is what I usually do. 3x3 three three double honeycomb. Grenade launcher works. Yeah, but they still have to get close. They still have to get close. I kind of destroyed it. It's still here. But I usually do a 3x3 three three double honeycomb. It's not fully built because I ran out of actual, actual dust. Like, this would be like... You know, I would build this out, but I ran out of actual dust or whatever the fuck it's called. I ran out of the sand, but... Basically, I'd go, like, 5 high... 3x3 three three double honeycomb. And you want to you don't want to put your terminal in the middle. That's obvious. What you want to do is you want let's say this is my terminal. You want to put your terminal in a weak side. The weak side, if they get it right, sure. GG's. But if let's say my this is the front side, they're gonna have to waste like fuckloads of rockets to get through there, right? So you wanna have a weak spide, weak side, and you wanna make that like hard to get to or like un like how how do you say it you want to make it uh unobvious you, you basically want to outwit your opponent you want to outwit your opponent on where you put your tc that's the most important thing the second thing is tcs are like anvils you destroy your floor and your tc is going to fall down so it will keep falling down the the more walls they destroy that's why when you see people put terminals on the foundations, they instantly lose. Either A, because there'll be exploiters that will phase in and inst instantly molly it. Or, because they will destroy the foundations and it's GG. You want to have terminal on about the mid height. Because you also need to stop roof rating as well, which is pretty important. Usually, I'd go about one, one wall or one uh, floor above the terminal is usually good enough. With their roof cones. So, I don't know if I have them on me. But I use... Where is it? So there's a very cool trick you can do with the roof cones. Where you can overlap them and get basically double Jura. Which is fucking cracked. So if this places, the snapping is being a bitch. Come on, man. So I've seen that happening. Yeah. So we want uh, this one, I think. Yeah, no. Uh, wait, is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. This one. So, what you can do with these is they're really, like, glitchy, and you can build them in... It's kind of... Okay. It doesn't want to work for me now. Of course, it doesn't want to work for me now. Fucking sick, man. But, basically, you can place them inside each other. You can clip them. Hang on. I'm gonna do this in fucking normal map, because it will work. How the fuck do you leave this place? Hopefully they didn't fix it. Nah, because I used it today. Wait, actually, I didn't use it today. Because we were versing shitters, so I didn't build the base fully. Ah, uh, you can't... I also hate how you can't, f like, free build in here. Um, So annoying. Okay, that's also annoying. Okay, that should be good enough, surely. Mm, okay. Wait, was it these ones? It might have been these ones. The tilde console key? Yeah, it does. You can't use it in Conquest War, though. It's so annoying. Um, oh, I need to do stone. I don't have any longs. You're trolling. You're trolling me right now, dude. There we go. Okay, it works at normal. Okay. Oh, why am I lagging everywhere? Yeah, see, here we go. You can, like, clip them inside each other and get, like, fuckloads of pyramids stacked inside them. What, bro, what is going on right now? Bro, I'm... Huh? Let me move! <laughs> what is going on? Bro, I'm trapped. I'm, get I'm getting hacked on right now. I'm getting, I'm getting griefed. Unbelievable. What the fuck is going on, man? Okay, but anyways. Can you see how, like, you can, like, clip these inside each other? 
So that's like a 4,000 euro root. Bro, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Fuck is this lag coming? This is horrible. Yeah, it's all this it's all the wars happening at once. They're already in by the way. Oh no they're not, no they're not. They are. But I can't see the rocket as everything's a slideshow. Yeah, yeah, it is your that's true. They are tank I uh, make tank damage over there. Bro, yep. I, I don't even know what's going on. I can't even... It's so laggy. I can't even switch weapons. I can't kill. <laughs> Never. Okay, it's smooth now. Wait, it's good. It's good, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, lock in, lock in, lock in. Two coming up, two coming up. Nope, it's not final. Yeah. That's like bombing with cars. Wait, what, they phased in! No, one phased in, one phased in, one phased in. One phased in, yeah. No, they can't get in, but... Bro, I can't even... Throwing Molotovs from somewhere. Where are they mollying from? Where are they mollying from? Did they fly in from the sky? Okay, you should be able to place a quad and then um, get him. If they did it, we can. So. Go up on the cliff. I'm gonna go up on the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, thank you. Bro, I'm still just slow running, man. Yeah, I know. I see it. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna fly down from above and just zoom. So laggy, cunt. Yeah. Oh, from the front? 
Yeah, that's sniping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build cars, build cars in front, build cars in front. TC does have a decent amount of health, by the way, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right side, right side. Um, yeah, right side, right side. Behind, behind, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind, behind, behind. Go on. Are these ours at Claymores, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right side, right side. Cheers, nice. I don't even know if my sprint's regening. Are you mulling their cars? They're sniping? They're sniping from our uh, road, by the way. Yeah, they're sniping from roof. Ah, uh, from road, sorry. Stuff, good stuff. Uh, right side of us, Vendor. I just saw him go up the hill, I think. I might be tripping. Right side of the road, okay. Right side of the road. Left side, okay, good come. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Go on, go on, go on. One's, uh, one's destroying, one's destroying from somewhere. There's one behind, there's one behind. Yeah, behind you, yeah, I see the foundies, foundies, yeah. It's dead, 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 dead. There's another one. Um. Yeah, if someone stays up on that high cliff behind our base, that'll be great. Whoever that is, stay up there. Are they, do they have camps up on our cliff? Okay, good gun. Coming. Which direction? Which, which side? Which side? Which side? I see, I see, yeah. Right, 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 right side, right side, right side, one quad. One quad coming up right. Three cars. Yeah, yeah, one's close to base. Okay, good come. 
Go on. Like on the on the cliff on the cliff behind our base. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Stop wasting respawns on it, just send a few. Cause they could they could they've got free access to front if you right side? Okay. Yeah. What do you mean you should be able to? Press space and F. Press space and F. Yep, 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 yep. Backside, backside, backside. Okay. Okay, play close foundations then. Just have a couple stay on. Have two stay on cliff, please. Please hit. Please have two. Can I have two stay on uh, that cliff behind still, please? Okay, okay. It's got a decent amount of HP. We can put our cars in front of it. Put our car in front of it, please. Yeah, yeah, put your quad there. Put your quad there. Keep in mind, we're not getting the durability right now, so the more kills, the better. Left side, 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 up through mid. We still have one on the back cliff here. We still have a guy watching from back cliff. Ah, uh, looking, looking. Thank you. Yeah. One's going through mid, one's going through mid as well. Oh. Yeah, hard ride again. What can they might be doing a split? So, okay, I'm gonna stay watching left in case one flanks. Yeah, they've got they're splitting, splitting four cars left, four cars left, four cars left, split. Yeah.
They might do a split again. They might do a split again. I'm gonna stay left again. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah. One's all the way top left. One's all the way top left. Oh, top right, sorry. If you're in my group, I pinged him. If you're in my group, I pinged him. If you're in my group, I pinged him. I think their durability is low, eh? Okay, awesome. I appreciate that. That's good. That's good. Did you get those guys up on our flank? Okay. I think they're low durability, eh? Yeah. Oh, is that is that one of us? <laughs> the spectral clicks. Yeah, so try not to die now. Eight minutes left, we've got a lot of durability on our terminal still. That's me, Mitch, that's me, Mitch, that's me. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna stay holding left, that's gonna be my position. Yeah, I see, I see the lift guy. Got him, got him, got him. One at mid, one at mid, one at mid, one at mid. Nice. That's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah, I think the gear's basically fucked, eh? I think we've worn them. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's been good for me. Two up there, there's two up there. Oh, you got one, you got one. There's one more, one more. There's one more, yeah. Take them twice. Yeah, if a couple of you just hold there and just chill, yeah. Yeah, you need two for black hole. Second player counters. Oh, it's you, Leonardo. <laughs> I think their gear's like actually just fucked. Left side, left side.
Left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Left side, left side, left side, all this side. Okay, okay, okay. Back around the back, around the back, around the back. There's one on the hill somewhere on the back cliff. I got sniped from back cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it stuck on one second? What's that, sorry? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine like it never ended. <laughs> oh, GG's. GG's, boys.